Hi, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. I upcycle clothes. I love making edgy fun pieces from thrifted items. Today we're working on these distressed cutoffs and we're going to be embroidering them and I'll show you how to do that. These are the shorts I'm going to be embroidering and I am going to embroider right in this yoke right here. I'm going to start out drawing where I want my flowers to be and all I do is I make a X and then a line down the center and a line down the center going the opposite direction. And I will do that all through here and I'll use a black marker. Chalk would just wear off as I'm embroidering and I'll do some little half, little half starburst next to the seams there. So it kind of looks like they're going off into the distance there. And how I get started is I go up from the bottom of my shorts and I find the very center of my flower and pull my needle through. And then from the top side, I go back through that same hole or very close to it and run it back through. But this time I'm going to leave a loop. Now, I go to the end of one of my points, my little star points here, and I bring the needle through till it just kind of starts pulling on that loop. Now I need to untangle, untwist this. Okay, and now I take my needle and go through that loop and pull it back and it made a petal. And to secure that, I'll just take my needle and go to the outside tip of that petal and secure it with a little stitch. Now, I'll repeat that for every single petal. I'll go back through the center like so. Go back through the top, through that same hole or very close. And I'll leave a loop and go to the next petal or star point, very end there. And get this untwisted. Okay, and so now I'm pulling that through just till it starts to kind of tug on that loop. And then I'll bring my needle through the loop and make another petal. Now I need to secure it with a stitch. So I'll go outside that petal just a teeny bit and secure it. I'll do it one more time and then I'll just shut the camera off and kind of finish it myself. So I'll go up through the center, back down, leaving a loop, go to the next petal, bring my needle through, Bring it through the loop, make the petal, and secure it. Now I'll finish that and then I'll come back and show you on the opposite side how I tie that knot off. Okay, so I've just got one more stitch on that little flower we're working on. And then I pull it through and now it is on the back side and zip this. Okay, 
So here it is. Now you can tie the knot off by hooking it. Let me try to get a good view here. <laughs> hooking it through one of these petals and tying it off. But I like to catch a teeny bit of the denim. I feel like that makes it more secure. And then just make a loop there, bring my needle around twice and pull it tight. And I'm kind of a weirdo about making things extra, extra secure. So I usually do it again, wrap it around twice and make a knot and then I snip it off. Okay, so I just showed you how to do the petals, but um, now we need to do the little green centers. What I do, and I kind of did this out of order just so I could show you, but I did all the petals first, and then I go back, you know, so the caramel, the yellow, and the pink. And then when I'm all done with the petals, I go back and I start at the very end with the green and make the centers. And I'll show you how I make the centers. Okay, so I'm using kind of a grass green or a Kelly green thread. You can do whatever you want. It's your project, any color. So I'm going to make three small stitches just in the center. And so I'm kind of coming in off center And I don't know, less than a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch. I'll bring it back down. And I just have one little stitch there. Now I'll go next to it as close as I can. Which can be a little tricky, just got to play around with it. That's pretty good. Pull it up. Sometimes it's hard to get through there. Oops. And then just go back down next to the other stitch. See now it's starting to look a little more full. It's right there. I'll go back in. and right down next to that other stitch. Yep, and it's hard to get through there. I don't know what happened here. Oh shoot, okay. So I got my tangle taken care of and I did the three stitches. And of course I don't have any issues until I'm actually filming it. <laughs> But really, it's not that hard. So I'll just show you quickly how I tie this off. You just, this one, I don't catch the denim. I just kind of go into this wad of thread here and I make my knot there. Twist my needle twice, pull it, and then do it again. Okay, now I'm all finished. Thanks so much for watching.